In this video, I will show you how data capture during testing is organized on Central. I will show you how to generate reports, access notes, and produce the item level scores. I start on the Assess app on my iPad, and here I see a completed test. Tapping the Results tab, I see scores, and tapping the bar graph to the right reveals additional information. I can also expand these sections here. All of this data is found on Central, with the exception of audio files. Those only exist within the Assess app and are deleted upon removal from the app. The system backs up data regularly during use, but if you test it offline and you don't see it on Central, tap the Sync button when you are online and you'll be all set. Now let's look at the website and see how this data is organized. The dashboard, summarizing my recent testing, shows the test that we just saw on the Assess app. I can access this same data from within the Clients tab or the Assessments tab. Within the Clients tab, I see my clients and clicking their name brings me to their profile, with the tests appearing down here. Within the Assessments tab, I see an expanded list of testing activity as I scroll down screen. So I will find the same assessment session represented in three areas, the Dashboard tab, Clients tab, and the Assessments tab. Three roads leading to the same destination, which is this. You can see some initial details about this assessment here, including when it was scheduled, who administered the test, and the client's name. I will now look through these links on the left followed by the buttons on the right. This battery and results link initially shows the subtest scaled or standard scores. There are additional details revealed by expanding the sections, and this is the same information that we saw on the Assess app. I see my composites behind this button, and hovering over the bar graph reveals more information, and for some achievement tests, you will find additional data behind the Comparisons button. During testing, any notes you took are preserved here. This Notes link displays like this, color-coded accordingly. This Observations link is specific for the U.S. version of Q Interactive and only appears with a WISC-5 battery. You enter information here and it populates into the Interpretive Report narrative. The more information you put in, the more helpful the interpretive report becomes. On the right side, we have a handful of buttons. The Create Report button is where you get the score report. Clicking it will first generate this window where you can apply adjustments to the default settings. Be sure to scroll down and view all of the options. Your report can be produced as a PDF or a Word document. Once you have finished with any adjustments, click the Generate Report button to view the document. It now shows up on my desktop where I can print the document if I like. The Export button produces a text file as well as a CSV file, and these downloaded files look like this. The text file shows some generals about the test session, and the CSV file, opened with Excel, shows the raw data. Our last button is Item Level Scores. Item Level Scores provide item stimuli, scores, uh, verbatim responses, and contextual events for each subtest in your battery. Navigate from subtest to subtest through these arrows at the top, and this is fully printable via the Print All Item Data button in the upper left. Remember, though, none of the scores on Central are editable for test sessions. So, should you notice something and need to revisit the assessment, this is done only on the Assess app. Let's go back there now, and my test is still here. 
you remove test sessions by selecting it from the left and tapping the Remove button from the Interview tab. If you have many test sessions, you can bulk remove through the Manage Assessments link up here. Either way, removing assessments from the Assess app produces this message. All data backs up again to Central and audio recordings are destroyed. Once done, that data is only to be found on Central. Thank you.